Marcus Soda is a leader. Mark Asoda is much more than just a golf course superintendent. Mark is a professional superintendent who gives daily not only to his club but to his colleagues. He is a leader in our industry and he is someone that has uh, put us in a place to be successful for the future. The game of golf is my life. It supports my family. Played the game since I was 15 and worked in the game since I was 12. So it's, it's basically my whole life. I think there was an inspiring or defining moment for me uh, when I was finishing up high school. Um, I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with my life and my career. And, and my dad uh, came to me and said, you know, I don't care if you want to be a bum, just decide what you want to be. And at that time, I was working at the golf course and, and really enjoyed it and then pursued colleges that would further that career. The thing that impresses me about Mark is he's continually trying to improve his own knowledge. Mark really has a desire to do the job and be a cut above most everyone else. He's the best, and there's only one way to do it, and that's to be perfect. What motivates me in my job currently is the people I work with and for. Um, I really love Atlanta Country Club and the people here at Atlanta Country Club and it's really fun to come to work every day. I think about Mark as the, um, the consummate professional when it comes to golf course superintending. He has been a big advocate for the golf industry. He's been very involved in many issues politically, including water allocation issues. Water is really the lifeblood of a golf course. Without water, you can't uh, keep your turf grass alive. Without grass, you really can't play the game of golf. Back in 2000, when uh, golf was singled out and actually there was no water during the drought times, Marcus Soda took the bull by the horns and he met with government officials. We found out the state had written outdoor water rules that were completely unacceptable for our industry. Some of our other green industry partners were not under restrictions, but golf was. It became an issue with me very quickly. And he came up with a solution for our problem. Mark has really been instrumental and um, really helped the state of Georgia understand how golf uses water, how we conserve water, how we um, only use the water that's really truly needed to keep the plant alive. We were going to be cut off. When you cut water off to golf, you kill golf. Mark was definitely uh, one of the main players in helping to save golf in the state of Georgia. We got passionate about telling our story as a golf industry. We're really good water managers. We're excellent water managers, and we have a great green space that we maintain, and we do it efficiently and effectively with our resources. In 2007, we presented the state with 97% of our courses on best management practices for water conservation, and it was because of the efforts of Marcus Soda that that happened. They eased the regulations for us and wrote executive orders for our industry, and even gave us commendations for our work as leaders in conservation. His policies, procedures, and education in watershed management has really put us in the forefront, I think, on um, as far as being environmentally friendly. He's great at his job, but he doesn't stop there. He continues to make a difference for our industry. Marcus Soda is a man that you want to be in your hip pocket at all times. When I found out I was gonna be in the Golf Hall of Fame, I was shocked, speechless. Um, just overwhelmed, overjoyed, uh, uh, ecstatic. I just couldn't, um, I just couldn't believe it. I think Mark deserves to be in the Hall of Fame for, for several reasons. Mark is committed to the golf industry. He takes on issues, he, he's an advocate. Everyone in the golf industry has an obligation to strengthen the sport. From superintendents to pros to players have an obligation to tell the good story of golf. Not only does he get continued education, but he gives it back as well. He passes along what he knows. Mark Asota is the smartest man I've ever met. Mark's work with government agencies on water issues really has helped save golf as an industry in the state of Georgia. He is looking out for the people that's playing his golf course. He wants them to have the best experience they can possibly have. I'd like to say to Mark on this night, on behalf of the Georgia Golf Course Superintendents Association, we want to send you our congratulations. Mark, uh, congratulations for the continued legacy 
uh, that you leave for Atlanta Country Club. Thank you for being uh, out there on the forefront for, for our club and for the industry. Thank you for all of the work that you've done on uh, the golf's behalf. And also to let you know just how much we appreciate you and all you've done for us in the golf industry. We would not be in the position to be successful for the future without all of your hard work. And by the way, Mark, I'm feeling the love tonight and I hope you are. Oh, there's nothing next. This is the Golf Hall of Fame, is it? <laughs> it's just, I mean, is there anything next? Um, I know that I'm a volunteer, so I, I probably won't stop that sort of volunteerism. Uh, I do Boy Scouts, venturing. I just, I won't, just won't stop. I cry. I'm thankful for the recognition. Thankful that I, I get to, we get to talk about contributors to the game and the passion that superintendents have for the environment and the game and, and, and uh, respectful of all the other in inductees, just completely humbled honored uh, and thankful. It's, it's, it's overwhelming. You, you should be sitting here. It's overwhelming.